All right, y'all. It's December the 8th. December the 8th. And, and as you see, your tax dollars are getting used at big corporations. As you see, they're here guarding Bank of America. In Prince George's County, this is why your taxes are so high. You have one of your cruisers sitting over here at Bank of America, guarding Bank of America. This is why your taxes are so high in Prince George's County. They use the people's car, burn up the people's gas, and wearing the people's uniform. As you see, he's got his berries and cherries on, guarding Bank of America on your tax dollars. But they can't patrol the neighborhood where the young man was shot and killed. They sit here hiding out for big corporations. Bank of, a, Bank of America is a billion dollar business, y'all, using your money and they can hire security. But these clowns sit out here on your dollar and I guarantee this officer is on the clock. He's sitting here guarding Bank of America, taxpayers of Prince George's County. What they do is they go in, they clock in on your dime, and then they come out here and sit guarding Bank of America, big corporations who can hire their own security. And they, they try to justify, say, oh, we don't want nobody to get robbed. Well, everybody knows how to dial 911 in America, okay? And for you clowns who say, oh, it's all right to do that, tell them to come and park out in front in your neighborhoods where you pay your tax dollars to have these enemy of the people but this is where they come at hiding out in big corporations securing them just behind this bank of america down the street approximately 100 feet is where the young man lost his life at and yet and still we got one of these enemy of the people sitting up guarding bank of america who can hire their own protection
What car is this? This is car looks like six. I ain't gonna butcher it. I'm gonna wait until he put out. We got another one just pulled up, went down the street there. He's probably going down to McDonald's or the liquor store. But this is what they do. They clock in on your dollar. And then they come and do security work for big business and big corporations. We got one that just went down the street there. He probably going to, like I say, McDonald's or the liquor store. But this is why your taxes in Prince George's County are so high. Extorting money from the taxpayers to work for big business. And he's committing a criminal act because he has the berries and cherries on. It is illegal to put emergency lights on when there is no emergency in the state of Maryland. But he puts them on there to keep the so-called criminals away because he's a coward. Only a coward will let his lights be blinking like that. He's running criminals away from this Bank of America to another one where it's not secure or another business because he's a coward. Only a coward would do that, leave the lights on, so that criminals can run from this Bank of America to another one. This is what this is what America has become to. These individuals with these uniforms are the new terrorists in America. They work for rich people, big business, and big corporations. We're at Bank of America at 6495 in Prince George's County. Bank of America is a billion dollar business that can hire their own security. Matter of fact, when this bank is open, there is an armed security officer inside. So why are we using the taxpayers' uh, servants, the taxpayers' vehicles, the burning up the taxpayers' gas and wearing the taxpayers' uniform to secure Bank of America? Instead of these terrorists out patrolling the neighborhoods, they sit up in these kind of places securing big business until they get a call from 911. There's some of them right there. Look at them leaving.
but they couldn't secure the neighborhood where the young man was shot and killed. But this is where they hang out. Taxpayers, it's a time to stop this. It's, we gotta stop this. We hired these individuals to patrol our neighborhoods, not sit down at Bank of America, guarding Bank of America. You know, a lot of you people say, oh, we, we, he's, he's guarding them. Why don't he come down to your neighborhood and guard your neighborhood? Why isn't he sitting in your neighborhoods with his berries and cherries on, running the criminals out of your neighborhood? You want to know why? Because you're not big business and big corporations. They're extorting money from you to come and take care of this big business. And the criminals that allow this are the ones, the upper management, the chief, the uh, lieutenants, uh, the, the commanders uh, that run these shifts. That's who allows this criminal activity to take place. And this extortion on the taxpayers of America. It should be illegal for an officer while in the people's car wearing the people's uniform, working security for any business it's a conflict of interest but because you taxpayers aren't making a noise you want to be the new slaves in America they do this he's not sitting in your neighborhood why is that why is he parked at big business because you're allowing it to happen you're the new suckers in America That's the same what kind of that I told you when the young lady came over there and talking about she was uh um what was the word she used she was an agent of the property just to get us removed this is what they do because no one's saying anything about it they they're getting away with this foolishness of policing big business while on duty. And they, they don't even care about it because you're not making any noise, taxpayers. You're ciphering out your hard-earned dollars to guard big business. What's up, Denzel? What's up, Denzel? Not tonight, Denzel. Maybe later on before I leave from out here. I'll be out here all night tonight. Look at this rat that just went over to the police car. Look at him. A fucking rat.
she was at Bank of America. Then she went over here. And now, let me get her car. This is a car right here. She decided she wants to go over there and be a rat. That's a tag number right there, y'all. To be a rat. This is what's wrong with America today. We got all these clowns who don't stand up for shit, but becoming a rat. Oh, she got her keys locked in there. And he won't even come and help her get her keys out of her car. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. A citizen just got her keys locked in a car right there and this clown will not go help her. Because he's guarding big business. Look at here. We're at Bank of America. And as you see that door there, that door there says security. They have an armed guard in here through the day. Why is it they didn't need the taxpayers' dollars guarding the property when they can hire their own guards? And we got a citizen down here who's got her keys locked in there. And this clown probably got a slim gem, but he won't go get it, get the citizens, help her get her car keys out. Okay. What is This is what they do. Instead of sitting in your neighborhoods, they come and sit down here. Talking about they deterring crime at big business. How about your neighborhood? How about deterring the shootings, the killings in your neighborhoods? This is a billion dollar business, Bank of America. They can hire their own armed officers and put cars out here with the same berries and cherries on them. And you security forces should have a problem with this because they're taking away from your resources of you being contracted out by these individuals who can pay billions of dollars. But they're paying it to these individuals who are on duty in our uniform, in our cars, waiting for 911 calls to come across. Look at this shit. And I can guarantee you, I, I'll put the bank on. If I walk down the street right here, there's one at this liquor store and then there's one at McDonald's down there. But yet and still, and this is the neighborhood where the young man was killed, who they left overnight on the ground because this is what they do. This is where they sit at until they get a 911 call. Then they ride around through your neighborhoods. Don't get out the car. 
to investigate nothing and then they come right back here and park in these spots here and they do it because you taxpayers don't have the balls to start making phone calls and saying we're tired of this your hard-earned dollars are getting used to secure this Bank of America You are the new American slaves and this is where your hard-earned money going where they just rose the taxes in Maryland and this is where it's going to only time this enemy all the people is going to leave is when he get a 911 call from a citizen. This is car 6041 of the Prince George's County Police Department. Enemy of the people. Guarding. This is where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 6495 at Bank of America. And we have a servant, a servant who is guarding Bank of America. A billion dollar business and the police who we hire to do a job to do a job is securing it. Who we hired to patrol our neighborhoods and make them safe is sitting here at big business, guarding big business. And a citizen locked her car, keys in the car. He has a slim gem, but won't go assist the citizen who pays him. He wants to guard big business. You taxpayers better start waking up. Look at this right here. This is security right here. This is security for this, this area. So why is it, and he's armed. So why is it that we have him here when we got security right here? Look at that. Ego Protection Agency guards this area. So why we got him sitting here instead of in the neighborhoods patrolling them what we pay him for and it's not about oh he's making sure nobody rock they could put an armed guard here do the same thing he's doing a special police officer can do the same thing he's doing He's making a hundred thousand, eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. Send his lazy ass right here doing nothing. What's up, man? On your tax dollars. So this isn't about protection. This is about a security company that's using extorting money from the taxpayers for his own profit. For his own profit. This patrol car here should be in your neighborhood. If he wants to park and sit, he should be in your neighborhood parked in, with his berries and cherries on. Make no mistake about it, he's getting paid to sit right here at Bank of America, y'all where you just saw the patrol car, the security form that patrols this building, they can hire them to do the same thing, sit out here, just like they got this clown sitting out here, the enemy of the people, storting money from the, in the people.
But as long as you taxpayers aren't saying anything about it, as long as you keep giving up your hard-earned money to this, they're going to keep doing it. You're going to be the slaves in America paying these individuals for big business. If there's no crime in Prince George's County where our officers are just sitting up at big business, why are we paying them this money? Why don't we start firing or letting some of these officers go if they, all they do is clock in and sit at big business where they can hire their own security? And matter of fact, it looked like we got two officers in there. So we're paying, if it's two officers in there, we're paying over $100,000 for these people to sit here off your tax dollars. These welfare recipients are sitting here getting paid. If it's two officers in there, it's over $100,000 worth of money of your tax dollars being paid. It looks like it's two. I may be wrong, but it looks like it's two. What's up, young man? How you doing today? Right, how you doing, sir? You got to stay on top of him, man. You know that. Thank you. A young man lost his life down the street, a block away from here. Three police cars, three of these kind of cruisers came through, didn't get out the car, just rolled around, hit their spotlights, and then rolled off, and the young man sat on the ground all night long because these enemy of the people, rather to get back to big business and securing big business than to get out of the car after someone reported gunfire to investigate the ground, the area, they wanted to get back to big business or hiding out. And that's what they're doing. Look at this here. This is what they're doing. This is car 6041. Securing Bank of America. There's a young lady right there who's got her keys locked in the car. Right there. And he won't even come over and assist her to get her keys out of the car. A public servant. Hold on, here you go now. Look like he getting ready to go. Look like he, oh no, I thought he put his car in, in gear. We're off of New Hampshire Avenue, y'all. Highway 650. And this clown is sitting in the car doing security work for Bank of America. When a citizen asks him right there, the young lady right there in the white car asks him to come and do, undo her lock. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, if someone locked their keys in the car, law enforcement, that's what their job is, to serve, would come and jimmy the car for them so that they can get in. These cowards of today, nah, nah. And as you see, he's a coward. Look at him. He got his emergency lights on when there is no emergency sitting doing security work at Bank of America. Isn't that a cowardly move? You're not trying to catch crooks. You're trying to run them away when you put the berries and cherries out. But taxpayers, this is why your taxes was risen in Maryland. So that they can pay these clowns here 
more money to secure big business. What's up, Dave? What up? There you go. She, now she got to call the mechanic to come and, and get it. Here we go again with security. See how they do? They, they roam around. That's the security right there. So tell me, and he's armed. So tell me, wh what is the purpose of our servants doing down here securing this Bank of America? That's a security agency right there, y'all. You see, he roams this area. So what's wrong with them hiring him to watch, sit right there just like he's doing? taxpayers as long as you allow these individuals to do this they're gonna keep doing it this is your hard-earned money that you pay them their salary to sit and guard a big business called Bank of America this is ridiculous And I'm pretty sure it's two of them in there. It looks like one's on the other side moving his hand. I could be wrong. Look like he, somebody's drinking something in the car right now. But make no difference. When I was growing up, police we didn't have cowards on the police department. They would never ride.